when you took me through the drill of ukulayo that is marriage counseling in zulu you told me that the secrets of what happens in my marriage should be kept under my roof you told me it was a weakness to confide in anyone outside our circle on anything negative that is happening inside my home when i told you i wanted to leave my abusive husband you said i should be patient that all will be well one day what would the people say you said now that i speak from the grave i should ask what are people saying now that the news of my gruesome murder by my husband is all over town i wish you had released me to leave him before it got this far maybe we would be talking a different story today i shouldn't blame you though you had to conform to the expectations of your community on marriage otherwise you would have been outcast in a community whose acceptability you value so much i had to keep a fully fledged wardrobe of dark glasses so as to make people think it was a fashion statement and yet i was hiding the blue under my eyes after the recurrent beatings by my husband i had to wear thick makeup to cover my shame so as not to miss work at times i couldn't even wake up from the beating i would have endured to look after my own kids it all started with harsh words from my husband that is amazwi ahlabayo in zulu it remained within my home as you had advised bengisidla inhlamba ngivuka ngenhlamba njalo ngilale ngenhlamba i would wake up to insults feed on stray waves and go to bed with a flurry of insults thrown at me bengi tu kwa ngomama that is i was insulted about my mother i was insulted about the poverty in my family the most common was that umangoye ulala ezivo in my family meaning the cat in my maternal home sleeps on the heath This refers to the fact that the fire is never lit in the cooking space where I came from because our level of poverty is very high. I was reminded of Amalobolo that is the bright price that was paid for me every single day and how he could demand that it be paid back any time. I am not surprised since as an item with a price tag that means I was purchased I was kept wondering when I would ever clear that lobola debt with him after all these years of marriage to him in which I had even given him an opportunity to be called ubaba when I got married I thought I found a friend that would look out for me and we would raise our children together little did I know I was committing myself to a prison from which i could never escape except inside a coffin i worked until i dropped dead i would wake up in the wee hours of the morning under the cover of darkness to prepare for everyone in the house to cook the food and prepare the children for school i would come back home from work tired and worn out only to start the job of being the mother of the house I guess I'm getting my deserved rest in the grave now that I've departed from this world. My domestic problems extended to financial abuse. My husband spent the funds he earned on entertainment and boys nights out. Ubechayela imota ezichelela samans. That is he drove top end cars while the children's school fees went unpaid. and the rest of us caught public transport to work and school ubeqoka izihlangu eziyenziwe ngezikhumba zezilwane abantwana bedatshukelwe that is he wore shoes made of animal skin while the children went around in tattered clothes he went around distributing money 
such that he was nicknamed Keep Change, and yet the roof in our house was leaking. He was a money lender at no interest to those who asked for it, and yet he wouldn't even part with a cent to stock the fridge with food. He was a people pleaser, while Abantuana was nimbis, that is, with tears round the ch- running down the children's cheeks. Now that I am in my final home, I should appreciate my long deserved rest. Bengi chaiwa, nisenzu wa inlegi isapambu wabantu kunye eko ola mulai. I would be beaten and made fun of in front of people without anyone intervening on my behalf. His family would always take his side. They believe it was his way of disciplining me so that I don't stray from the street. They believe he was justified in beating me. They would advise me to stay at home until the blue, blue rings around my eyes from the beatings would clear so that my issues remain under the roof of my home. If only I had been enlightened enough, I wouldn't have been in my final resting place so prematurely as we speak. If ever I was in a state that requires me to visit the hospital, I was advised to say that I fell and hit my eye against the edge of the table. He was not even ashamed to kick me like a ball at my most vulnerable while pregnant. When angry, he would include the children on his beating list as well. Yet, when I would go to the authorities, the best that I could achieve was to obtain a document called a protection order. How would a paper protect me from this monster? I actually needed bodyguards. Instead, now that I am in my final rating, resting place, I am enjoying the well-deserved peace. He was the bull in the community. He had mistresses strewn all over the community. I slept in fear and got up in fear. Fear I might have contracted certain diseases. Only the miracles of nature protected me from all that. Bengishalele ameto abandu. That is, I was staying put in this marriage for the people's eyes. Bengishalele ilobola elasha uluayu. That is, I was staying put in this marriage for the lobola that was paid for me. Bengishalele abanduana. That is, I was staying put in this marriage for the sake of being close to my kids. Bengishalele imfundiso yengkonzweni. That is, I was saying put in this marriage for the teachings of the church on marriage. Bengishalele imali. Mopasinga koni ukuzikuina. That is, I was saying put in this marriage so as not to lack materially. Umama ubeti nishale kuza jinja. My mother would say, I must be patient and hope things will change one day. Abangani, bebeti nisuge uza nibulala. My friends would say I should leave him before he killed me. The children would ask me, are you going to divorce him, mama? Isi gobeliti, umendo autritwa. My culture would say I shouldn't destroy my marriage. My priest would would say I should pray day and night and God will answer me one day. Begugude emuva, begugude pambi. The road behind was long and so was the road ahead. Benitinga unge to banja, I needed help. Maybe had I obtained that in time, I wouldn't be in my final resting place today.